owners of a Clearfield County trucking company accused of deceiving their employees. Court documents show they deducted money from workers' paychecks for things like retirement, but the money never made it into the right accounts. And Devin Clark is working the story. He's here tonight with those details. Devin. Well, Marty, Timothy and David Kephart are both facing civil action from the United States Department of Labor. That money you mentioned was deducted from employees' paychecks and supposed to be put into 401k accounts to go towards health insurance coverage. But that didn't happen. A lengthy investigation by the Department of Labor found that more than $270,000 in contributions had been misappropriated, money that around 100 employees of this now-abandoned trucking company thought they were going to have for retirement or sick leave. Today, I stopped by Kephart Trucking to see if anyone was there for comment, but the company has since been closed down, and the only people working there, men hired by the bank that now owns the property to secure the premises. In addition to the civil lawsuit, I obtained a search warrant that shows state police are looking for all the information associated with the Kephart's accounts at M&T Bank in Center County. They're also looking into a man named Mark Michael, who was the CFO for the company. So far, though, no criminal charges have been filed. I also want to point out that Timothy Kephart and Mark Michael were convicted last August of a check fraud scheme out of Ohio for a trucking company they worked for there. Now, the U.S. Department of Labor wants the Kepharts to pay back the money and also be banned from ever having control over these types of accounts again. Live from the Clearfield County Newsroom, Devin Clark, 6 News.